Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late last year, as I posted, Microsoft announced that starting this year, back in February of 2023, your cloud storage used across your Microsoft 365 apps and services would now include your Outlook.com attachments and all of your OneDrive data. Now, I did post a video on how to manage and limit your Outlook.com storage from filling up OneDrive, and I'll leave a link to that video down below if you would be interested, as it will also provide you with a lot more info. Now, just to let you know that, once again, in regards to your OneDrive storage quota, that Microsoft has made another strange decision. And this is according to an email that they are now sending out. And uh, um, you may have received this email, you may have not, but I'm bringing it to your attention because um, obviously a lot of you are using OneDrive. Now, Microsoft has said in this email, and I'm just quoting the first paragraph, that they are committed to improving your Microsoft 365 experience and they want to let you know about an upcoming change to the OneDrive Photos storage infrastructure. Soon, they say, data from photos saved in your gallery and in your albums will each count separately against your total Microsoft storage quota. This change will gradually roll out across accounts starting on the 16th of October this year, 2023. So that's give or take a month and a half away from being uh, put into place. Now just to break this all down and just to simplify this for the purpose of this video. What this means is this change doesn't affect photos that are uploaded to OneDrive by default. So those are the photos that appear in your photos gallery as mentioned. But it does affect um, any optional albums that you may create and then you place obviously existing photos into a new album. Which at the end of the day means if you have a photo that's in your gallery and you have photos that are in an album, both of those will count now towards your storage quota. So basically, in a nutshell, this will result in photos uploaded to OneDrive counting twice against your storage quota. Now, as I said, this is a bit of a strange decision because Microsoft says in the email they are committed to improving your Microsoft 365 experience. So obviously clamping down on your OneDrive storage quota kind of finding it difficult to grasp how that's going to improve your Microsoft 365 experience. But nonetheless, um, just to move on, because Microsoft has said in that email that it is giving a one-year storage boost to address the upcoming change that may affect your storage quotas. Now, this is what Microsoft has said from that email and in that email. But the email does not specify the size of the storage boost. So obviously, this is something Microsoft is going to change in the future. And um, that so-called one-year storage boost, um, if I find out anything more about it, I'll obviously post and let you guys know. But just putting it out there that any photos you've uploaded to OneDrive now um, that you have in your photos, and then if you create an existing album, that is now going to count twice against your storage quota. So just take note of that. And obviously that change is taking place on the 16th of October this year, 2023. And obviously, if I get wind of any more info, just to keep you guys posted and in the loop, I will let you know accordingly. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.